Well, we want there to be one. We I don't want, want there to be a God. <laughs> no, mostly we want there to be immortality mm -hmm. for our loved ones. We for want us to be, remain with our loved ones. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's the purpose of the whole that's thing. That's why the thing here. Right. That's what the whole meaning of this Bible is. is of the New Testament. Yeah, the New Testament. Old Testament was just... The Old Testament, it was... You're just worshipping a monster god. Well, an, un, an unseen, unpresent god with no uh, evidence of any... In the Old Testament, it was like you're reading about some monster thing, you know? I didn't care. I just wanted. It just had. And my anger will come up on my face, and I will smoke my people. And oh. it was really creepy. Didn't give any. Uh, no love at all. It was only in the. New it was only in the Psalms in the Old Testament that seemed to show. I think that's why no, this it came out of. It was only in the New after Jesus in the New Testament. That no, because in the Psalms. The in the Psalms. Psalms? Mm -hmm. What did it say in the Psalms? Talked about God's a merciful God. Um, yeah, and but it's not stuff. about not about living again. And I'll and I'll and as I walk through the valley of death, I shall bear no evil, and thou shalt be with me forever, and stuff like that. Well, that's where it came out. Of. It came out of the Psalms. It did. Yeah. That's the Old awful, Testament. That's the Old Testament. There's an awful lot of us that would like. More proof. proof. A lot of us. Well, I think there's something. I really think there's All something. Right, but you're not the only one. Yeah, but a I don't. People yeah, do. I know. I don't know if there's. Well, of course, Jesus is right, but you know, I do believe there's something up there. Up, I mean, up there or where? Where, wherever. Or where? You don't know. But there's something. I think there's something. Life is just too strange without there. Well, I mean, how in the world did we get here without something? Yeah. If you study DNA molecules and atoms and stuff, you start thinking weird things, you know. That's some science fiction. Yeah, that's another reality. thing. We, we don't know how we got here either. That's the, I mean, right. that story of Adam and Eve is, well, there's no proof of that, really. No, really, there isn't any. We have first. We have evidence that people. We don't have any history until six thousand years ago. That's true. And that's when the Bible was created. I mean, when this world was created. Wait, wait which one? Is it? Hell. Hi. Oh. Okay. We're. Uh, we're Lucy is reading the Bible, and we're saying, what evidence is there that we're trying to figure out a way that uh, that there's evidence of immortality, which we've been uh, scratching our heads for four months about. It's not any place. Do you believe the Adam, do you believe the Adam and Eve story? Yes or no? <laughs> Well, how could they have written it? Well, we, they could have made it up. Yes, there was a first man, a woman. Well, it just, the whole thing is beyond the human reasoning. I mean, well, how do we, the, the, the evolution theory is, uh, I, you can't really, uh, find any reason for that. I don't see how that is. Nobody could see how that's possible. Oh, I don't doubt that he was crucified. I don't doubt that, but I doubt the Adam and Eve story in the first place. Oh, 
Oh, well, that Noah's Ark. An ark with a whale, a male and female whale. They're, they didn't put whales on the ark. They didn't put whales no. on the ark. No fish. No fish. Okay, what about cats and insects and all that? Dogs. Oh, no, I on the ark. Zebra. Mm -hmm. Zebra. Anaconda. Lions and tigers. They and didn't bears. eat the other ones up in bears. Well, Lions Horses, and tigers oh, well. bears, the monkey, okay, the anaconda, look, python. It's true that birds. the nature of the, even Artists. Einstein, what did he say? Einstein, I don't believe he, well, I think he said he didn't believe in Einstein God. Einstein believed in God. Well, I said he didn't, I think he did not. I'm going to look it up. The very next book. Did he believe in God? Einstein said God does not play dice. Did your husband believe in an afterlife where we would see our loved ones? That is the crisis. Why? Oh, you live with them. So you see, if you had, if he'd have believed, did you live with them over 50 years? You would have known it. He would have said it. Oh. Well, that's kind of. Uh, But he didn't even know that. I know, but he didn't think it. He didn't say anything about seeing his family again, did he? I mean, his parents, or, you know. What did he say? Well, what is, huh, then what is all the churches and temples about? Are there, that's what I think. They're just like a social. It's good. People need, you know what I, yeah. No, you know what I think? Right. I think this, that in our happiness, like when we get married or something, we need people to share it with because our happiness is enhanced and made more meaningful. And when we have sorrow, like when your family, you know, it means a lot to have somebody around you when you're in sorrow. You know how I felt when my mother was buried and that night I was alone in the house. Everybody went back to Chicago and Kenny went away and Lynn didn't come, you know? It would have meant a lot for me to have a person there to share it with. Her brother did, was there, but he, he wasn't there. Yeah, right. I think so. Look how rotten people are today, even with all the churches. No, my mother and I talked about it not very long before she died. And look, here I am. I haven't got much longer, probably, and, and I don't believe in it. Well, I better let Lucy finish this. We're, we're right, right, absolutely. That's right. Exactly. Especially you being a you being a Catholic. But you know, now one thing that that family that looked back of us was Catholic. And they, when I was a little girl, they told me about purgatory and hell and heaven. I was absolutely scared stiff. I thought, God, I'll probably go in purgatory. This is horrible, you know, because I never heard any other religion. So when these Catholic kids, well, I, uh, uh, and COVID was there, I never thought of their names in 40 years. 
So when the Tobin uh, told me that um, it was purgatory and that, I thought, oh my God, am I going to suffer? This is going to be terrible for me. <sighs> mm. But they don't, they don't talk about purgatory. No. Well, the Catholic Church has changed a lot. They allow divorce people. Yeah. I Yeah. I thought when I was a little girl and growing up, and I used to see the sisters walking with a chain around their waist, I thought it was so, uh, I was, I revered these people. I thought they were so holy and, you know, really, I just thought it was beautiful the way they were. I, my imagination was absolutely captured by these people that walked around, these women, you know, that gave their lives. I remember when I was a little girl, I remember that. Well, I better let Lucy finish. <sighs> You thought so, huh? Oh. Who knows? I think so. Yeah. Right. You, Wendy, you know, I wanted to tell you, today is November 10th, and my mother and I always shared a few words about Lawrence. This is the first time that my mother was with me on his birthday. No, he was born November 10th. Oh, this is his birthday today. Oh, wow. Yeah. He would have been 59. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and my mother died the 7th, February 7th. We buried the 8th. February? 7th? Yeah. And died and was buried the 8th? Yes, my mother was, uh, uh, yeah, Lucy said, yeah, she died and I called up in the morning and they told me about 10 o'clock and I, and then I right away, I, Lou gave me a tell, he said, he had given me the number about a, two days before that he, where his wife was there. So I had this number written in my book and I called, and I called the man and he came over later in the end. I said, I want tomorrow, I want the services graveside tomorrow. And I told him what kind of a coffin I want, the most, the most inexpensive coffin, because that's what she wanted. It was, you know, plain, like the uh, Philippine mahogany book. And uh, didn't look like a cheap one, but it was uh, like three hundred seventy dollars or three fifty, three fifty something like that. Hmm. The cheapest one they had. And then, um, yeah, well, the service. It, so the man came over about five o'clock, and he took two checks from me, totally like fifteen hundred dollars. And then he said, "They said it'll be tomorrow." And such and such a time, you know. When you have graveside services, you can, which is just what I want for me. I've got to get my things taken care of for a graveside. They can do it any time, you know. So there was a few friends there, and, and my, well, that, that I didn't, they didn't say, you know. Oh, I have to find out about that. Yeah, I will. And then we we drove which we drove up and oh my god, there it was. Well, I tell you, it's the blackest moment of a person's life when they bury their mother. Yeah. Mm. 
Yes, you did. That's right. You had your share, believe me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this has been... Huh? Yeah, would you... Uh, well, th it's the only thing, like you and I both have this attitude. We want to... We don't want to end up in a nut house because we could as much as it hurt us to lose these people. That's why I told Lucy, I figure if I let myself go like Claire's mother, you know, she took an overdose. My brother's mother, who I told you, she laid in the nursing home for seven years. She suffered because she, her daughter neglected her and broke her heart. And then she took this overdose after her husband died. And she had to have a catheter. She was paralyzed. And she suffered the overdose. And when she died, just a few months before my mother, my mother said, I told Clara a story about your mother. She looked like 100 years old. I saw a picture of, of Lil at um, my nephew's wedding, and, and she, my mother said, I said, oh, I'm so sorry about your mother. She said, oh, don't feel sorry. It's the best thing that could have happened. I don't understand that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know, but even then, what did she say? Oh, it's torture to why could it is torture for me. I couldn't go to see my mother. I couldn't go to see her at the hospital. Must be the way Lynn is, unconscious. yeah. No, so she was unconscious. No, that's true. I would have wanted my mother to stay alive no matter what. No, no. He was too proud. But, but the doctor asked me, do you want me to use any uh, artificial? I said no. What was the use? I mean, I wouldn't want her suffering in, in, in that kind of. If if I thought she there was a one chance of a million. Well, that's what he said that she was. You know that she took, couldn't get any. She couldn't get ever uh, recover. She was unconscious for days and days. Is that what it is? She was like sleeping. The last time she ate, she had a little cottage cheese. I, I used to pray about my father all the time. Mm, it doesn't do any good. I was afraid it would hurt my mother to use that artificial stuff. Oh, well, they were giving her IV all the time at the end, you know. She was on IV at the end for days and days. Well, what's the use? We can't, we've got to keep our sanity. Yeah, we're, I'm going to die, and Lucy, and you, and his parents, but he's so, when I tell Lucy, you know, because he's so, uh, you know, like I told you, he's so close with his parents, and he loves them so much. But I tell him the best thing he can do is start detaching because look what happened to me when my family people died. It ended up with my divorce. 
because I couldn't face it with Lauren. Oh, yeah. called pneumonia the old man's friend because put him on the they put him on a blind. Okay, I'll let you see Lee. I ain't leave your home and your possessions and your relatives and, and, and yourself. That's right. Absolutely. Now, everything. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with Brucey and he'll earn a little money taking me there. Okay, sweetie. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Who was that? Helen. Oh, yeah. What'd she have to say? Well, you heard, didn't you, when you called? Yeah. Well, it, she was Catholic, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, she thinks, she'd like to think that, you know, she lost her husband, her brother, her stepson, and her nephew all inside of uh, about a year and a half. Or, well, a stepson, you know. Uh -huh. That's not really a relative. And the husband is not really a relative still. Hmm. But she did lose her brother, but it was a half brother. But half brother is just something. Sometimes they're like their own brother, you know, like Shira's just as close with the others as they are with each other. Yeah. Well, let me get my knee up. Well, that's why I you you see you can see from me what can happen, and from other people. I think it's so important that older people and younger persons live in touch with one, that they not be separated. Because it teaches the younger people about life. Whereas if they're only with younger people, they don't really understand life. And yeah, they think they're gonna live forever. Yeah, exactly so. Ugh, ouch. No, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, year, year again. Yeah. All right. Helen is the loveliest woman, and she's so good to her daughter. Yeah. You know, she's so, oh, God. You don't have to, where are you going? Just a minute.